Hi, this is John Hammond coming to you from Norwich, UK, Norfolk, UK. Thought for the day, am I a robber? Now, a robber, as we know, the spirit of robbery is what the world is. And of course, what they're doing is robbing. And we know that the devil is the robber, the thief who comes to steal, kill, destroy, and to rob but that's the nature of the devil the spirit of this world is to rob so when I said am I a robber some of you would have thought well is he now making a confession that he robs I thought he was a Christian disciple of Christ servant of God does he rob well confess your faults to one another and be healed as it says in James the book of James so why am I putting that thought into your mind that I'm a robber? Well, before we were saved, we were all robbers, thieves, liars, cheats, crooks. Before we were saved by the grace of God through the blood of the Lamb. So how is it I'm saying to you a question, am I a robber? Well, surely you'll say you can answer that yourself. Well, a thought came to me today, and I'm exploring it with you here on the internet, 13th of April, 2022. A thought for today for you to mull over. Am I a robber? Are you a robber? Do you rob? Do you steal? Do you destroy just like the world does? thieves, steals, destroys. The spirit of the world is not the spirit of Christ. The spirit of Christ is not the spirit of this world. And when I say this world, I mean this fallen world, which the phrase I use is the fallen, perversely wicked Babylonian world, which is ruled under the spirit of the devil, the God of this age. Jesus said of the devil that he is the God of this age, the fallen age of the world. So the devil's a robber, a thief, a destroyer. He comes to steal, kill and destroy. And that's how we once were before we were saved, born again into the spirit of Christ, the Holy Spirit. So when I said, am I a robber? What I'm saying to you is that the Spirit of God within me does not give glory to man. Now, whether that's a religious man or a worldly man, to God there's no difference. When man wants the glory for himself, God himself challenges that man to glorify God. All good gifts come from God. So where does that leave the scientists? The scientists today, in the year 2022, they might claim to be saviors of this world. The scientists and super scientists out there who come up with vaccines that will save this world in every generation up to now. And they get the glory. Some of them are genuine, humble people but they don't give God the glory. How many scientists do you know who give God the praise, the glory, and all the honor for the wisdom to know how to resolve issues in this world using science? Am I just talking about physical science of medication? Well, God created the plants. And plants, food and drink, water, it deals with your thirst. But also there's some minerals. And we know by now, because of the, the revelation that's come to science, scientists, about calcium, we know there are certain products from nature that are rich in calcium. 
and of course that's very good for our bones so why am I talking about robbery because man robs God of all the glory because that's what man does many people do things even in the name of God in the name of Jesus because they want the glory they bask in the glory that is given to them consultants in health in hospitals used to be called God when there was a problem they would say amongst themselves let's talk to God meaning the top man in the hospital and he, he I'm sure these days she would be aware of that that they were considered the authority above all the authorities in the hospital business consultants with all their knowledge and their training and their understanding and their experience were considered to be like God but we of course know to God be the glory that's big G we know God as Jesus Christ Father Holy Spirit Jesus Christ the only begotten Son of God so robbing man of his glory God's not a robber but there are some of us who refuse to give man the glory and man can really resent that and they call it lack of respect not honoring them not respecting them but when you understand that God himself is not a respecter of man otherwise he wouldn't be God but we're not God I'm not God you're not God so how does that work in a fellowship of true believers well amongst the brothers there's a mutual understanding I'm not going to glorify you and I don't want you to glorify me I'm not going to praise you and butter you up and make you big-headed but I am going to encourage you that if you've said something that is brilliant that God gets the glory because the brilliance is from God and if you argue with that then already there's a problem in your mind about who God is we sing to God be the glory great things he has done so loved he the world he gave us his son Jesus Christ we'll leave it there thought for today will you rob God of his tithe that's a lie that's going around that certain ministers are using to maintain their income stream for their church building and I mean that physical church building and their building of the church and I would add their church as opposed to the body of Christ will man rob God of his tithe quoting the Old Testament that's a huge subject God will not be mocked and God will not be robbed of his glory John Hammond coming to you from Norwich UK praying for you as you're praying for me I hope and interceding before God's throne one for another because these days are evil God bless you brethren of the one God his one church throughout this world God bless you